morning, IHSA football family. How you guys doing? How you guys doing? How you guys doing? Last Saturday of the February, how you guys doing? It's going to be a beautiful day. Hopefully you're having a beautiful weekend with you and your family. Um, and again, this is the Deep Dish uh, Football Live Top 30 Recruits in the State of Illinois for the Class of 2024. Again, if you do not know me, my name is Peter Lionbre, a.k.a. Coach Big P, publisher of Deep Dish Football. Yes, I'm back at Deep Dish Football after uh, two months. Um, and again, uh, make sure you follow Coach Big Pete and Deep Dish Football on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. My email, again, is coachbigpetefp at gmail.com. That's right. My email, again, is at coachbigpetefp at gmail.com. And again, I am doing interviews, and I interview anyone and everyone. First string, second string, star recruits, not star recruits, kids that aren't even going to play college football. I interview them. Um, I have no problems interviewing them. And again, this is for the Deep Dish Football Fundraiser. We are at 72% right now. Visit deepdishfootball.com. 72% uh, of total money being raised. Again, it pays for the bills, especially the website bills, which are an absolute pain in the ass. So make sure you check it out on deepdishfootball.com. And again, free recruiting questionnaire is on deepdishfootball.com. Uh, the recruiting question, make sure I have your information and fill that out. Recruits class of 2023, 2024, 2025, 2026. Uh, please fill it out. Big shout out to you, hybrid athlete. I know, uh, big shout out. Uh, trainer, 797, definitely check him out as well. Um, and again, um, my email again is coachbigpeat.pgmail.com. Follow Coach Big Pete and Deep Dish Football on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Um, as well, you can also, um, I'm also on Reddit now. With the Deep Dish Football's Reddit is back up, so check that out as well. Um, and again, I'm going to be doing live, uh, not live, um, filmed interviews coming up soon. The Dish, as soon as I get done with this fundraiser, and new brand new watch list so again i'm doing t i'm talking top 30 recruits again that that list is going to change probably every month but i'm going to say this right now um the new watch list for the top recruits in the state of illinois will come out next month make sure i have your information um there are some kids i'm still waiting to get some information on um but again uh, high school coaches uh i am your free tool so you can tell me and give me uh, the member, uh, the members of your team that have interested you and should be recruited by college coaches or not being looked by college coaches, please let me know. I will do interviews for them. Again, the interviews are absolutely free. Just again, quick reminder. And again, like I always say, this list will change. I swear, every month. This is the first. This is the first time since 2019 that. I'm doing a third top 30, um, and again, there's some names that I feel have fully shown that they are the top recruits in the state of Illinois. There's some names that are, are working on it that not, have not made the list, um, especially again with recruiting. It's not what you're at, where you're at now, but what where the college coaches see your level of play when they when they recruit you. What can you do on the college football fields in the future? So that's the most important thing to know about recruiting. That's the main important thing as well. All right. Um, again, I think I went for everything. Again, my bio, publisher. I've been publisher for Deep Dish Football since 2016. Um, took over as publisher uh, six at 2016. And again, uh, I've been scouting the whole state of Illinois. Do 1A uh, to 8A. Um, all the schools, Northern and Central, Southern Illinois. Um, and again, we'll be definitely visiting some recruiting, uh, not some recruiting services, uh, some training services this coming month, next month. So um, keep an eye out for that. I'm going to Fist Football. I'm probably going to go to the Boom Trench Warfare as well. Looking at going back to the Top Gun 7 on 7 tournament, which is always a w wonderful time. You know, it's like Barrington, if I'm not mistaken. It's always a fun time. Coach Hoff puts up a wonderful 7-on-7 seven -seven competition in the March. So I will definitely be stopping by there as well. Uh, but again, it should be a lot of fun. I'm really excited. So, with that said, um, and again, time changes. Recruits don't get angry. Because I know you guys are going to get angry. And, oh, well, he's not there yet. Um, 
Uh, like I said last year, I did some of my top recruits last year for the fundraising stream. Um, two recruits fell off the list. Three recruits got added onto the list. Uh, one recruit who absolutely stunned, absolutely stunned in twenty uh, for the class of twenty twenty three um, that I did not have on my list that was back on my third top thirty list was uh, Vassy out of Prairie Ridge. I felt he was unbelievable. He's going to kill it at Wisconsin Whitewater. And I know he's playing baseball there as well, so he, he's he's going to be a star. So, let's uh, get started for the class of 2024, top 30 recruits. Again, the list changed, don't get angry, yada, yada, yada. Um, and again, I do it towards the Lou Saban, again, scouting notes, and with the uh, especially with the numbers and, and percentile numbers. So, for my 30 recruit, and he's a very raw one. He's a raw recruit that... I feel is still growing, and he, he is committed to Northwestern. But at number 30, Patrick Schrowler, uh, tight end out of Glenbrook North. Again, I would like to see a little bit more from his blocking, but he is a hell of a player, um, and definitely, definitely aggressive uh, attacks, especially especially uh, with his uh, passing routes. I'm sorry, with his catching routes. Um, very impressed with him. He's going to be another player to keep an eye out for. 29. Kyan Barry Johnson, wide receiver out of uh, Bolingbrook. Um, a very finished product, one of the more finished uh, finished um, wide receivers in the state of Illinois. Um, I definitely see him, again, go projecting more into the top, into, into the, uh, the teens of my top 30 because he is a hell of a player. I think the big thing for him is, again, I want to see more out of his catching ability. I think that's going to be important. 28, um, 28, uh, Sean Beeler out of Simeon, edge rusher. He's a hell of a player, one of the top finished projects, projects in the state of Illinois. Simeon has a hell of an edge rusher. Sean Beeler is that guy. He will kill your quarterback. He gives quarterbacks nightmares. Basically, he'll put your quarterback into the third and take your girlfriend to prom. That's how bad. That's how badass this kid is. Mike Sean Beeler is that player. Um, Twenty-seven, Charlie Mullen, tight end out of Ottawa Marquette. His brother went to Louisville. Charlie has unbelievable potential. One of the top more has most, the most potential in out of this class. He's a tight end. He's a hell of a player. Six. six I think he's a six-six right now. Um, for Ottawa Marquette, but Charlie Mullen out of Ottawa Marquette uh, plays defense as well. Again, small school star, but again, you see him steadily improving. He's very imp he's improving his technique. But Charlie Mullen, tight end out of Ottawa Marquette, twenty six. Tony Phillips out of Kankakee High School, hell of a player, blazing fast, break your ankles. Um, would like to see a little bit more after he after he takes a hit. Uh, definitely a player to keep an eye out for running back out of Kankakee. 25, uh, K.L. Brazzini, linebacker, Downers Grove North, a two-sport star. I think a two-sport star out of Downers Grove North. Also wrestling, like what I say about those wrestler, wrestlers and linebackers. They have a nose for the ball. K.L. Brazzini is one of the top linebackers in the state and one of the top linebackers in the Midwest. Um, he's steadily improving too. Next one, uh, Brandon Hansen, offensive uh, lineman, commit to Illinois out of Mundelein, who was unbelievable in, uh, I think it was 2022. It was the, the winter of 2020, 2022 where he impressed uh, a lot of the college coaches. Steadily climbing. He is another kid. Again, um, love his pass blocking. Love his pass blocking. Definitely um, great with his agility. We'll see what happens, especially this senior season. I think the senior season is going to be important for him, but I think, he, again, Illinois has got a hell of a player. 23, um, Jaden Wright, running back, Bishop McNamara. Um, big, sturdy back, six foot one, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and again, breaks tackles also very, very fast, too. Uh, Bishop McNamara again is a little bit of, is a program that's a little bit on the rise. They had a huge, huge downfall of um, Coach uh, Zini, uh, Coach Zigon, but uh, Bishop Mac, um, Jaden Wright, he is at number twenty three. Number two, number twenty two, KJ Parker, athlete um, at IC, 
uh, more of a wide receiver I see. Uh, but he is another hell of a player. Again, a technician. Love where he, love where he puts his hand placement for receiving the ball. Um, definitely a kid. Steadily improving. Still another raw prospect. But again, he's he just keeps on gradually. He's going to keep on gradually climbing up this list. No doubt about that with KJ Parker. Next, Latron, uh, uh, Latrell, Lat Latre uh, Bradford. Defensive back, East St. Louis, one of the best defensive backs in the Midwest. I think he's going to climb up to the national prospect spotlight. Um, Latre uh, La uh, Bradford is that kid. Um, good hip placement, too. Good hip tracing with the wide receivers. Um, would like to see a little bit of more of an aggressive side to him. But again, he is doing his job. Um, and he, again, another raw potential. Another one who's been on the list since his freshman season, Luke Williams, wide receiver, Naperville North. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Um, he has been stunning the audiences in DuPage County. Um, Luke Williams, to me, and when I, say, I say this in a very positive rate, Luke Williams, to me, again, is a recruit um, that is the mo one of the most college-ready Recruits from the class of 2024 in the state of Illinois. Um, I think he's going to be ready for day one, especially when he picks his college and where he's going to play. He's a hell, he's a special player. Next one, number 19, William Nolan, offensive lineman, Hersey. Kid that keeps climbing, 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 climbing. Unbelievable, unbelievable speed, unbelievable agility. Uh, like to see a little bit more work on his strength. Um, and definitely, <laughs> he'll put your ass in the ground. But, um, William Nolan at 19. Number 18, Dylan Johnson, defensive tackle. Julia Catholic, Dylan, Dylan Johnson, also a star wrestler too. And what do I say about defensive tackles and defensive ends and linebackers in wrestling? It's a beautiful thing. And let me tell you something right now. He is unbelievable. Pinches off the gap. Um, again, great control. Great, great uh, body movement especially when he gets off that snap and fights off uh, the offensive line. But he is another player to keep an eye out for as well. Uh, Joe Barna, Wheaton North, a defensive end, another climbing defensive end out of Wheaton North. And again, he is steadily climbing up those ranks. Again, potential, he's very, very raw, still raw, but he has a lot of potential, especially... Um, when we get into the fall season, um, good hand fighting techniques. Would like to see a little bit more in his foot placement. Um, but again, Joe Barna, Weedon North at number 17. Number 16. And this kid is a star. This kid's going to be rising. He could be in the top five recruits by the end of this fall. Chris Dirk Jr., wide receiver out of Morgan Park. He is absolutely killing it. Absolutely killing it. Chris Thor Jr. is that type of player. Um, unbelievable athleticism. Um, just a knack for getting to the ball. Um, and again, the scary thing is he is so raw. He is so raw. So definitely, Chris Thor Jr. to me, again, has a shot. Has a shot at being the number one wide receiver to come out of this class. We will see what happens in his senior season, but he is a hell of a player. All right. Number 15, Ethan. Um, and again, I apologize. We are raising money for the Deep Dish Football Fundraiser. Um, again, helps with the website bills. Make sure you check it out on deepdishfootball.com. We're at 72% raised. Number 15, Ethan Middleton, running back out of St. Rita. Ethan Middleton. Again, another kid that's been on my list since freshman year. He is going to be one of the premier running backs out of this Midwest region. Um, again, very, very controlled running back, especially with his body movement and his ability to break for the big play. Uh, the big thing is, again, is he is still where I feel that he's at such a polished level for a running back. I just don't, for potential, for potential-wise, I don't see him making to that limit of getting to that top five. But again, we will see. But he is doing a wonderful job. But Ethan Middleton is that, is that kid. He's that kid. 
Charles Miles, Mount Carmel, defensive back, number 14 for top recruits in the state of Illinois for the class of 2024. And again, this list will change, just a, a quick warning. Charles Mills, to me again, um, very good. Great field vision, too. Uh, speed, unbelievable, especially growing from his freshman year to his junior year. He has done a wonderful job. Charles Mills is definitely a hell of a player, number 14. Number 13, Darian Dupree, running back, Mount Carmel. Again, Darian Dupree, absolute monster. Knock you on your ass. Also, unbelievable speed, too. Um, I think we've seen a lot. I think we, I still think that with Darian Dupree, the big thing for me is to see what he does this season. Um, but he is in the national spotlight, and he, his star is continuing to grow. Number 12, Jesse Walton, wide receiver out of East St. Louis. Absolute killer. Killer of defenses. Jesse Walton is that dude. Jesse Walton will absolutely kill your secondary. He's that player, um, and he deserves the attention that he's getting. Number 11, Marquise Easley, Kankakee offensive lineman. Uh, transfer out of Peoria Manual to Kankakee. Marquise Easley is the real deal. Um, still so raw. One of the rawest uh, recruits in uh, this class for the class of 2024. Has to continue growing, um, especially on the field. Um, especially if you look at his game film, miss, miss some blocks. Um, and also was a little bit, um, how do you say, a little bit shocked at some of his footwork. We'll see what happens, but again, he is one of the was, rawest recruits in the state of Illinois. Number 10, Josh Janikowski, Jan uh, Janikowski offensive uh, lineman out of Lincoln Way East. Again, another Lincoln Way East beast that will knock you on your ass. Um, highly disciplined, but the big thing for him is his athleticism. Underrated athleticism and definitely a player that you got to keep an eye out for. Number nine, and I'm going to piss off a lot of people. Imarian Stewart, Bolingbrook, wide receiver. Imarian Stewart has a chance again to be the best wide receiver uh, even in the nation. The big thing again is he's he he can run. Great, great pillow for hands, but. The big thing is, can the shorter routes, that's going to be key. Um, I would like to see more from his shorter routes. Um, that's, going to be, that's going to be the most important thing. Um, no doubt about it, he can beat any DB. He's that, he's that type of player. But the big thing we'll see is on the shorter routes, especially for this upcoming season, especially when they're going to be prepared for that passing attack of Bolingbrook this upcoming season, um, we'll see what happens. But... Imarian Stewart is that player. He's got a bunch of offers, national recruit, hell of a player. Um, number eight, Tyshawn Griffin. Morgan Park athlete Tyshawn Griffin has completely impressed me uh, just with his his speed, his on-field IQ, one of the best with his on-field IQ. Um, and the sky's the limit for the kid. And again, still very raw. We still have not seen the best from Tyshawn. Um, and Tyshawn Griffin, to me, again, is just, he's just climbing up the ladder. He's a national recruit, but oh, he's unbelievable. Has a shot to being a top a top 30 national recruit. He's that special. Number seven, Bodie McCasklin, St. Charles East, offensive lineman. Ho, 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 ho. Bodie McCasklin is that dude. Is that dude, definitely. One of the more polished offensive linemen for this class. Um, great reach. Um, would like to see a little bit more with, with his hip work as an offensive lineman, but Bowden McCasklin is one of the best in the nation. Number six, Cam Williams, Glenn Bart South, wide receiver. Cam Williams has impressed everyone these past years, um, especially coming out of his sophomore season. He absolutely killed it. Uh, so, uh, the North Central camp, he absolutely killed it. But Cam Williams is that dude. Um, he has proven every wrong, everyone 
Um, what they said about him, he is the real deal. Um, commit to Notre Dame. They're getting someone special. Cam Williams deserves to be uh, deserves to be uh, that that <coughs> sorry that high. Um, but again, with Cam Williams, the big thing will be will definitely be to see this year um, on his maturation process, especially with his route running. That's going to be huge. Um, next number five, Grant Steck, Jacobs, tight end. Unbelievable player. Everyone knows about Grant Steck. Um, the raw potentials there. He's got a lot of work to do, um, especially with the route running um, and definitely hand placement as well. But he's getting better. Um, would like to see a lot more uh, film, especially on him this season, especially going against uh, highly, highly, highly looked at uh, secondary. So we will see with Grant Steck. Number four, Christian Benacore, Clemson uh, commit out of Marion Central Catholic. He is an absolute star stud. He's going to be a play tight end. He plays both sides of the ball. He He's special. Christian Benacore is the real deal. Um, has, a, to me, one of the better bursts of speed. Um, and, again, a great field vision, too. There's really more of a raw potential with him than there is... When I talked about Grant Steck, when I talked about being raw, Christian, he's more polished than I would say than Grant. So we will see what happens, but it's going to be very interesting. Um, Marquise Lightfoot, number three. Marquise Lightfoot out of Kenwood, defensive end. Marquise Lightfoot to me. To me. Um, one of those top three, again, the potential is there. It is, it's there, no, no doubt about it. Um, could be a top national recruit. Unbelievable strength, great on-field vision, one of the best on-field visions for a defensive end in in the country. In the country, to be to be honest with you, um, like his ten- I love his tenacity, um, and especially his ability to get to the quarterback, and also again on those inside runs to get to the to get to the ball carrier. So this it's very important for what they've been for what he's been doing with Kenwood and. This is the scary part. He's got another buddy on the other side that plays on the defensive end, uh, defensive end for Kenwood, who's an absolute star too. That Kenwood defensive line is going to absolutely be a killer uh, this season. So definitely, Marquis Slyfoot number three, number two, Eddie Turek, Lions Township a defensive end, and we talk about a traditional Big Ten defensive end. This is the guy um, again. Really impressed with his work, his resume on the field. Um, love his ability to get to the ball, um, especially there was a two. There was I think there was a couple three, two or three plays, and he was in pass coverage as well, which I was completely impressed with. But Eddie Turk is the number two recruit defensive end out of Lions Township. He is going to be a star in the Big Ten. One of the more polished defensive ends in uh, this class, and it, with. <laughs> Whoever gets him is getting getting someone special. And my number one, and you talk about a special recruit, uh, generational talent, this is it. Number one, Justin Scott, St. Ignatius, defensive tackle. Justin Scott out of St. Ignatius is just a bad man. That's how good he is. He is unbelievable. One of the Best on-field IQs out of all the recruiting class. He is that player. His tenacity, his ability to get to the ball, um, just ability to close off the gap on a run, unbelievable. His ability to pass rush, special. And what's scary to me, still very, very raw. That's the scary part about him. He has that, he is that damn good. He is that damn good. I consider him a top 10 national recruit. I think he is the real deal. I think we're going to be talking about him for years to come. But Justin Scott, out of St. Ignatius, defensive tackle, is an absolute killer. He's an absolute killer. He is that damn special. Um, And again, 
Um, we can talk about names of just, and again, this is just list. It's going to keep on growing. It's going to keep on growing. And just again, a quick reminder, the deep dish football, uh, the Coach Big Pete recruit watch list comes out next month. This is just top 30. Again, it changes. It, again, the top 30 will come out. Uh, not top 30, but the watch list will come out next month. Make sure I have your information. Fill out it on deepdishfootball.com. And there's names that honorable mention. Uh, Dominic Ball, Parker Starts, Eric Johnson out of Kenwood. I did not have any quarterbacks because I felt the quarterbacks were, were not at that level yet. Alessio from St. Francis. Connor Dennis. Um... Um, with the Willowbrook quarterback, Arthur Plenke. He's a hell of a player. Jake Thurtney, Antonio Russell, uh, Brett Larson, Sam Green out of um, Salem, Brock Bobley out of Carbondale, Jalen Johnson out of Wabonzi Valley, Ben Alvarez, um, Alexander out of Marion Catholic. Uh, there's a bunch of them. There's a, there's a bunch of them, and they're going to continually grow. Check out for the Deep Dish Football watch list on deepdishfootball.com. Uh, We're going to do the whole watch list. This was the just for fun, so I know people are going to get on my ass about that for the top 30. Um, but again, um, top recruit watch list comes out next month. The ones that you're seeing on deepdishfootball.com are old watch lists, just to warn you. The new watch list will come out, full watch list will come out. Um, next month in March. Um, so that being said, again, make sure you follow Coach Big Pete and Deep Dish Football on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. My email is CoachBigPeteFP at gmail.com. Visit DeepDishFootball.com. I'm going to be talking more about the recruits, going to be doing videos, going to be doing interview videos as well, video interviews as well. I'm um, going to be talking more about the recruits as well. Um, uh, each position, I'll break down each position with a video for the class of 2024 coming up as well. Um, that will probably be in later March, early April. Um, Going to be doing one more Deep Dish Football Live. Again, this is for the fundraiser for deepdishfootball.com. Make sure you check it out on deepdishfootball.com. Um, and again, for the recruits, again, ranking stars, they don't matter. This was uh, basically for fun. So... Justin Scott, to me, I have him in the top. Um, I have him in the top twenty percentile, and number fifteen, Ethan, um, Ethan Middleton, seventy percentile in that. But again, as we go down, we'll talk about percentiles. We'll talk about talents. Every recruit that's in the top recruit watch list which isn't out will be released make sure i have your information make sure you fill it out on deepdishfootball.com the free recruiting questionnaire um let's see if i got anything thank you bob no austin alexander he's better than the austin alexander is a hell of a player i'm telling you that right now and again he could he's very very raw and his potential wise he could be a top 10 recruit in the state of illinois no doubt about that uh but i will be talking about him because he's on my watch list so he's a hell of a player um and he he's he's again a top top a top top midwestern region recruit no doubt about that but we will talk about all the recruits in that um, take a look at the Deep Dish Football Fundraiser on deepdishfootball.com. Again, my email is coachbigpetefp at gmail.com. We're going to be talking about all the recruits later on. Watch list come out next month. Um, and again, check out the Deep Dish Football Fundraiser. We're going to be doing another Deep Dish Football live broadcast next weekend. Um, most likely Sunday. But thank you guys so much uh, for uh, joining. And I know this is going to piss off a lot of people. But again, this is for fun. Um... Again, it, if you look at the recruits, and I know I'm going to get a shit from the quarterback parents. If you look at the recruits and you look at the tradition of Illinois and what they do, Illinois is a beef state. They produce beef. They produce them big boys. Just a quick reminder. Just to give you a little heads up. So, thank you guys so much for joining. See you guys next uh, Sunday. If you have any questions, my email is coachvicpete, fp at gmail.com. Thank you guys so much. All right, Instagram.